today we look at 25 random Tumblr ads. Here is the first one. Uh, this is <laughs> celebrity transformations and uh, the text reads New man is skinny now and he looks like George Clooney. So that's... oh man, that's already so good. Everything about this is good. His fucking face, uh, the fact that they used a, a photo that looks like it's literally from Seinfeld, the fact that they used his act, his, um, not his actor's name, but his character name. Why? It looks like his fucking, it looks like his mom did this. It looks like Newman is skinny now. Oh my, you know, my Newman is skinny now, and it looks like George Clooney. His mom made this. That's. Uh, nine, nine, nine times out of ten chance that, and and what 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 does this advertise? Is it a uh, some kind of celebrity gossip site, or maybe is it for a, a diet thing, or is it something completely different? Uh, it's 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 amazing. The possibilities are endless. Let's go to the next one. Uh, this one is pretty good too. Uh, at first, I thought it really was a meme or a shit post. Turns out it's an ad for a band, a Swift Justice. <laughs> Uh, it, it says so right there in the in the text description hardcore punk cover band of Taylor Swift Swift justice. There's so much to unpack here Pepe the trash pigeon the MAGA hat cake flag Everything is, is the nuclear explosion in the background everything about it is perfect but um, Yeah, this one is intentionally humorous. So uh, we'll go right to the next one Ah, love hot romances? Lara, I was born into darkness, just like a puppy- what? Only my darkness is eternal, what? Love hot romances? What? What? I don't have a lot to say, because... What? Let's just go to the next one. You- <laughs> This is the whole thing. You're seeing the whole thing here. It's a picture of, of barbecue chicken, and it says, your next family. This is ominous as shit. I, I have no idea what it's about, and frankly, I'm not sure I really wanna know. Next one, uh, Deeply, I'm not sure what that is. 12 children's movie seems, th th uh, they didn't bother trying to, Fit the text in the box. The scene with, where Pinocchio is smoking and drinking was why Disney decided uh, number 10 is actually nightmare material. <gasps> we put clickbait in your clickbait. So th there's a picture of uh, the the E.T., the, e the extraterrestrial who looks drunk as shit in a pond, maybe, or maybe it's a reference to uh, Ophelia from Hamlet, but I, I doubt that they, they you read Shakespeare. And, uh, yeah, it's, um, uh, you know, that shit. What else? What else is to say? It's nothing, really. Next. Uh... <laughs> I love this one. I've seen, it, I've seen it a lot. And basically, it's a fucking clickbait site that implies that Peter Dinklage, um, the Lannister guy from Game of Thrones, is actually a fake dwarf. And he's actually tall in real life, and it fakes being short for Game of... What the hell? Post Hard is the name of the site, apparently. Or maybe the, just their slogan. And, yeah. Everything is there, really. Why did they Photoshop... What? This is clickbait turned up to 11. This is crazy shit. Let's just go to the next one, because... This is fucking great too. Daily posts. This is an old one. Are you aware about this? You better not be. Yeah. Yeah, Alex Jones, you thought that they were turning the frogs gay, but they're turning the frogs into killers who use knives to chop some... I don't know what that is supposed to be. Salmon or carrot. It's blurry. And are you aware about this? You better not be. They're watching you. If you know too much, they will come for you. So, uh... <sighs> if you see something, say nothing and drink to forget. Another 
won by Celebrity Transformations, which is, I don't know, Celebrity Gossip or Shitposting? Who knows? Humst! Humst! Knows the, the... And apparently that thing in the red circle is what Maria Carey looks like now. What Maria Carey looks like now is shocking! Help! What? <laughs> hey. Help! Help! Help Maria Carey! She looks like a, a small elf monkey, whatever the shit that is. S please send help. To, please. Next! <laughs> if you see this in your office, scream! <laughs> I mean, yeah, if I saw Doritos in my office, I'd probably scream too. I love Doritos. Ah, oh, man. Next. <laughs> what? Ever owned an egg? You could be due a refund. Send. Don't send this to How to Basic. It will collapse the world economy. The <laughs> I mean, ah, just everything is there. What? What? What more is there to unpack? Let's just go to the next one. Free! A uh, fuck lot of people pay to play this, and there's a Pokemon screenshot. I'm Ash, I will be a Pokemon Master. How about yours? So the, the, the typo side looks like an ad for, for Pokemon, right? But no, it's for a, a new, apparently unreleased game called Fantasy Mist. Maybe if they were to bootleg a franchise, they should have done more disguising and, and choose maybe a, a less famous one? Because this is just... Oblivious? I, who, who did this? Who did this? That's what I want to know. That's what I don't want to know. Next! <laughs> This is great. So uh, that's from a hit celeb, and uh, he shares his secret to getting through. Getting through what? The the Christmas? I've seen a bunch uh, of hit celeb ads, and it's always the same thing. It's some buff celebrity, usually an actor, uh, who uh, explains how he got buff, you know? But there it's... Fucking Santa Claus? Is Santa a celebrity? The, I mean, I guess he technically counts as a celebrity. And how did Santa get so swole? Well, if you wanna know, click on this shit. I mean, not, not on the video, obviously, because I'm not putting any links, but... Next! Like... Guy orders pizza for 10 years, so they call the cops. I've ordered pizza for 10 years. Never there were any cops. It was always fine. The buzz tube. This guy looks vaguely like Gordon Freeman. I don't know what else to say about it. It's Guy ordered pizza for 10 years, so they call the cops. Wanna know more, piece of shit? Then click on the buzz tube. It doesn't make, does not make me want to know more. All these clickbait makers, they, they fail to understand something. When I see something like this, everything is there. I don't want to click on it. I've seen enough. I've seen everything I want to know. This guy's face, the weird headline. Everything is there. I, I don't need more. I, I'm entertained enough. More entertainment, I could go insane from hilarity. I mean, I'm, I'm done. I, I've seen everything I, I could ever want. Next. Sp Six reasons to sleep with an onion in your sock. It's probably a really bad idea to sleep with socks for the circulation of your legs. But, yeah, this was made by Shrek, I guess. I don't, I don't even want to know. 
And uh, last one, I think. Uh, they finally reveal the secret to how they do it. Because you know they had to do it to him. Easy celeb. This sub uh, crazy Hulk. This guy is more buff than the fucking Hulk. And he's like eight feet tall, of course. What What do you want me to say? What more do you want me to say? The, everything is there. It's it's magical and I'm loving it. And I don't want to know the secret. I want to keep the magic intact. This is this is perfect as it is. Oh, there's more! I love the slogan. 26 faked photos because nothing is real anymore. <laughs> this is the opposite of good content. You know how sometimes uh, you got these BuzzFeed shit articles about the 26 photo that looked photoshopped, but they're actually real. This is the opposite. Here's 26 random bullshit that we made in Photoshop in five minutes. Who gives a shit? Nothing is real anymore. This is the most nihilistic clickbait I have ever seen, and this is wonderful. And it doesn't even look sharp to just some girl in a field or, or, or whatever. It's this is esoteric as fuck, and I'm loving it. Next, this looks like a normal ad for a car, right? I mean, Ford. Uh, Lee's a, uh, on a, another advertiser that didn't even bother making the text fitting in the box. Who gives a shit anymore, right? The car of your dreams is calling. Are you ready to answer? So this looks really normal un un until you, you look at the text in the center. If it gets louder above 5000 RPM so you can't hear your passenger scream. This is like creepy based uh, clickbait. This is marvelous. What a fucking what a time to be alive. To do. Ads are like this. I am fucking loving 2017. I mean 2018. We're in 2018, right? Yeah. I'm fucking loving the future, the present, though. Whatever the shit that is. Please more. Taste great. Why the fuck would you need more words? Here's the chocolatey, whatever the fuck that is. Tastes great. Amazon.com. I I have a feeling that Amazon did not make this ad, and uh, if it did, maybe Jeff Bezos did that himself. He's so fucking rich right now. He doesn't even give a fuck anymore. Tastes great. That's all you need to know. Jeff Bezos made this. I am convinced of it now. You you like your your chocolate, you piece of shit. Come order it at Amazon. Taste great! That's it! You don't need to know more! Taste great! You like fucking food, you piece of shit! Come on, Marie, let me now! Taste great! Maybe this was made by a robot. Maybe Amazon is so fucking full of money right now, they don't even give a shit anymore and they make their ads using robots. I don't know. This is brilliant. I know that. That I know. Sponsored! Lung Cancer! Come fucking get lung cancer! Tired of your boring, healthy life? Lung cancer! Die a horrible death like you've always wished with lung can- This is a fucking advertisement for lung cancer! This doesn't even sound like a like a real health company. Cancer living today. Today, if you want, you can live with cancer. Here's an ad for lung cancer. Yeah, come and get it. The future. We this is what a time to be alive. This is the future, and we are living it. And it defies all expectations, all the fucking science fiction shit that was written in the past. None of it comes even close to this. Long cancer next wow scan the dark web today why are you advertising this on fucking tumblr 600,000 dark web pages ready to scan what do you want to scan what maybe there's just 
pa web pages that happen to be dark and it has nothing to do with the actual dark web. Who fucking knows? Who fucking cares? Oh, this is uh, another ad for a an nihilistic shirt. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. The Snapchat hot dog is saying that shit. Friends or no friends. Yeah, if all your friends are dead, buy this fucking t-shirt. I mean, it won't, it won't make them come back, but nothing will. So might as well buy a fucking t-shirt with a fucking hot dog on it. That's, that's life, bitch. I don't know, grab here. What, whatever. This, was this made by a dog? This was probably made by a dog robot. I don't, I don't even, I don't know. I don't care. This is just, but it's brilliant. It, you gotta give it that. It is brilliant, especially if it was actually made by a dog. Yeah. Next. People are furious. What is this? Mechanical snail? It looks like the little implants that you put in your ear. Why are people furious? They are furious because okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a little story for this. Uh, before they had a grandfather that was deaf and they could talk shit in his presence all the time and he could understand nothing because he was deaf but now he has this little implant it's invisible when it's in the ear and now we can understand everything they say and they can't talk shit in front of him anymore and they are furious because of that they can't talk shit in front of their grandfather anymore what an ordeal the thanksgiving dinners must be so boring now i understand why they're furious i understand next Oh, so much to unpack here. The Sword and Lovers, in kinda in the Lord of the Rings font. Kim Yuon, 19. It looks like some fucking Tinder shit. But there's a... Uh, she's calling, she's calling. Hang up or accept? I don't know. Honey, look at my new skin. Oh, she's a lizard. She just shed her skin. And now it, it's so beautiful. Not half as beautiful as you. Uh, always skin for uh, RPG shit. Oriental chivalry dating? What? Oriental chivalry dating RPG? When the big boss left 3% of blood, but your goddess is calling you at the same. Play game! And uh, this is probably the last one. I, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I, I order them and they're not in the right order, but who fucking cares? ChoiceHotels.com Comfort in and suits. So I have hidden the bottom line. I have hidden the slogan. Because this looks like a normal ad for a normal hotel. But no, no, no. They have the best hotel slogan ever made. Look at this. Bada book! Bada boom! Holy shit! That is genius. Genius! 10 out of 10! 11 out of 10! There's no... There's no place to go after that. You reach the top. That's it. We have peaked. We have peaked as a species. That's it. So that's it. That's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, obviously. If you like, thumbs up. If you really like, subscribe. If you really, really like, consider uh, uh, subscribing to my Patreon. And yeah, thanks again for watching. And uh, final word, peace.